Hey, and we are in Canada, uh, just 45 miles west? North. North, north of Regina. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what the name of the place. Govan. 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 That's a Govan. Um, and we're here uh, with uh, Kevin and Chad. They're farmers, father and the son. Um, so Chad is carrying a nice tradition. Uh, we did some uh, <laughs> we did some samples here of um, we run Durham uh, with uh, high vom and fusarium uh, level in it. What that was? The well, level? it varied from uh, I think 6.8, 7% was the highest. And okay. Then we did one that was at 3.6. So. All right. So we yeah, did few very, of those. Yeah. Durham. And also we did lentils, which are, were already a seed. We want to see how we could improve possibly um, the actual seed quality. So um, when we were coming, what did you guys want to see and what did you guys expect it? I, I kind of expected from watching the videos on YouTube expected kind of what what we had seen but um it was nice to see it in real and to see it work and to actually see your own grain and yeah it's just yeah and what so, would you say did we meet your expectations or would you waste your time like <laughs> no yeah i think met or exceeded yeah i just like i said earlier i was appreciative that you would come this far out of regina and when you're at the show anyway instead of saying well come see us at the show yeah, so I appreciate you guys taking your time and coming out. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. That that's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure because I mean we would be we happy to show, you know, if people willing to see. Yeah. Um, it's only so much we can you know push yeah. on you. <laughs> um, okay, so first we run Durham, I believe, which was like a worse quality, right? Yeah. Yep. So we had the highest one and all this. Uh, we took a sample of it, so we're gonna send it to laboratory, yes. yep. and we want to see you know what the Bomb level and um, uh, infusarium yeah. level on it, so we'll know that later. Yeah. However, um, as far as the cleaning visibly, uh, what do you think? How was it? Well, I the fusarium, I definitely, I would say, clean up. Yeah, so, fusarium, they visibly, what you can yeah. see better, the pink kernels, they were just reduced significantly. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, this is what I thought. Um, and then we run. Um, uh some durham after oh, it's already yeah. been cleaned yes. by gravity table yes. and what do you think about that how did that come out well i was surprised how much <clears throat> extra it cleaned off the tailings end or that's what i call it the tailings end the tailings that, end. yeah this stuff that, okay that screening. yeah how much more it cleaned out than the gravity table did and like you had said even there was some canola in there that the gravity table didn't clean out so i was yeah i was impressed with with the cleaning quality it did okay that's that's good to know and also we had um uh, lentils mm -hmm. right and the lentils uh, was the uh, ones you use for seeds yes uh, right plant uh, what do you think how did we do as far as lentils did it clean okay for you yeah. well I definitely cleaned out the you could see the smaller ones were definitely cleaned out um, and the splits yeah yeah this and even ones, yeah. the splits the stained yeah even some of the stained ones which I didn't know they would be lighter but obviously they are so yeah I I was yeah, impressed with that too, for sure. Okay, that's that's awesome to know. So beside that, um, so for your size, you clean how many bushels a year approximately? I uh, clean? Yeah, how much? Well, we clean more with this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, okay. Oh, we would, yeah. Okay, you grow, how much oh, you grow? Bro, okay. Potentially cleaning, for cleaning. Yeah, about 160,000. Oh, wow, 160,000. Yeah. Okay, so if you... But some of that is canola, which I mean, if we had time, maybe we would, but it, we probably wouldn't clean a lot of that. Mm -hmm. And that's probably about 40% um, of our production is canola. And but still, yeah. And you, you sell Every, that for, for what usage? For? Uh, they crush it, canola oil. Oh, they do it for yeah. canola oil. But our, our dockage in that a lot of times is just uh, light stuff. It would all blow Straw, out here. Yeah. And they actually say that's good to have in the bin. Um, oh, really? Yeah, just because canola is an oil product, it yes. can heat up in a bin. So the more 
the more chaff and that you have in there. It's Not, more like an edge. Within yeah. reason. Like you don't want a whole bunch of chaff because you're wasting storage space. But anyways, I'm not saying we wouldn't ever clean any, but mm -hmm. that would be one of the last things I would clean. But I would probably run all our wheat, all our lentils, all our derm, um, those type soy So beans. out of 160, you have 40%. That would be roughly 70 maybe? Yeah, 70, 80. 70, yeah. 80. Okay, so still have Probably about 80,000. 80, so yeah. you have another another 80 pretty much to, to clean. Yeah. And if you get the idea, you get just a buck extra for the cleaning grain, you have 80,000 mm -hmm. pretty much a budget for machine where you can think, okay, I'll spend 20 and the rest of it I'll buy myself something. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bigger tractor. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, nicer tractor or go vacation, stuff yeah. like that. So pretty much with money-wise, it's very easy. The only um, really dilemma here is what you want to spend more, time or money on the cleaning. Mm -hmm. So either you invest more, you have a bigger machine and it just runs faster. Yeah. Or you just want to spend more time drinking beer, watching the machine yeah. <laughs> working for you. <laughs> so it's it's I really up to you. Yeah. So um, well, again, thank you so very much, and I think we came to right at the right time because it's been raining ever since last yeah. night, <laughs> overnight, and this morning I was like, oh man, how are we gonna do it? But yeah, as soon as we came, yeah. yeah, as soon as we came here. Everything cleared up, everything nice, so I guess it became the right time and the right spot. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you so you. much having thank us you over. We appreciate it. I think we did great. Yeah, you did. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.